What is up guys, this is Brandon and I'm back with another YouTube video today and today's a special video so today is all going to be about student loans so today I'm actually going to be making my final student loan payment so it's been a long journey to get here as you guys know I graduated 2018 so I've been paying these loans off since pretty much beginning of 2019 so today is February 27, 2021 and it's finally here where I'm going to finally pay off all of my student loan debt so as you guys know, student loans have been a very hot topic in the media. $1.7 trillion worth of student loans across the country. They're talking about student loan forgiveness of 10 k to 50 k So no one really knows exactly what it's going to be or even if it's going to pass. And from what I've researched and the people that I listen to, so I do listen to Dave Ramsey. I know that he's had some very controversial stuff happen over the last couple of weeks. But his method is basically to pay off all your debt as fast as possible, stop spending, uh, budget, and pretty much get rid of your debt so that you can become wealthy. And that's pretty much um, the mindset that I have learned from listening to him. And pretty much he said, yeah, you don't want to wait for the government to, you know, fix your money problems in a sense. So definitely I took his advice and I'm not waiting for this student loan forgiveness. If it passes, it passes. That's great, especially for the people who need it. But if it doesn't, well, I didn't expect them to pass it kind of thing. So yeah, I was pretty much one of the people who had to pull out student loan to pretty much go to college, you know. So um, when I went into college, I pretty much had no idea how much student loans I would owe when I graduate. You kind of just, you know, you're 18 years old going into this university. Pretty much everything before that was free for your in terms of your education. But yeah, it's a crazy journey because when you graduate, six months after you graduate, you pretty much start paying these loans and you're like, holy crap, I have thousands like of loans that I got to pay off in the next 10 years. And you're like, okay, maybe like with my income every single month, yeah, this monthly payment won't affect me that much. But in reality, it's pretty big amount. I think my um, original payment that I was uh, expected to pay for the next, what? 10 years starting in I believe January 2019 was pretty much $354 a month so I mean if you add that up over 10 year span that's a pretty big chunk of money that if you went through college without student loans or somehow you got a scholarship or you cash flowed like you you know you worked a lot during college to pay for your college while you're going um, you would have saved a lot of money when you graduate and you don't have to worry about it because yeah, when I graduated, I pretty much had about $37,000 worth of student loans. So pretty hefty amount. Um, I always thought like, oh yeah, maybe I can pay this off in one year or something like that. So 2020 was definitely a weird year to say at the least. There was definitely a lot of changes in terms of my spending due to COVID actually because uh, I wasn't having to go to the office every single day and gas prices was pretty much a big part of my monthly budget kind of thing. So yeah, I was having to go and fill up my tank every single week because I pretty much drive about 70 to 75 miles each day pretty much. So definitely I saved a lot of money on gas prices and I drive a Honda Civic so it has pretty good mileage. But yeah, I commute to LA area so pretty much doesn't help me in terms of that. But um, I also spent less money on food last year. So when I would go to the office, a lot of times I would have to uh, buy lunch there so that's um, a pretty big expense every single day five days a week and I would also buy dinner because I was also studying for the CPA exam so I would stay in the area to buy and I would eat there and pretty much go and buy boba every single day too because I'd be studying in that area until you know 8 9 p.m. and then I would finally go home and just do it again the next day so yeah definitely it was definitely a kind of shift in terms of where my money was being able to be spent because those two things were pretty much a big part of my monthly expenses and I was pretty much able to eliminate them because of COVID. So that was a big help in terms of me just going crazy and paying off my student loans. I am blessed that I do live at home still with my family. So I do pay a monthly rent of about $300. I know it's not much compared to some other people who have already moved out. Uh, from the parents home but yeah so I have a monthly rent of $300 I have a car payment of $338 um, pretty much those are my fixed monthly expenses that I have to pay so pretty much for the most part everything else that I was paying was 
going towards my student loans. Obviously, yeah, I allocated some money for food and maybe if I wanted to buy something. But in terms of 2020, I didn't make any big purchases except for the PlayStation 5. That was literally the only big thing I purchased. Um, I got really serious about paying off these loans because, you know, it was a good opportunity with the student loans uh, interest being uh, frozen pretty much for over a year now. So I saw it as an opportunity that was given that I could take advantage of and that's something that would definitely benefit me later in my life because now I'm pretty much going to be done with these student loans. Um, these student loans were what, $354 a month, but now I can start using those that money that I was storing in my student loans every single month going towards investing whether it's stocks whether it's cryptocurrency whether it's whatever I really want to whether I want to save it in a savings account it's my money now I don't really owe any money to the government anymore so it's definitely a blessing once you finish these student loans that you're able to invest in your future and definitely take advantage of that compound interest that you could be accruing just by investing in the stock market. So I went to a local public university. So the tuition every year was pretty much about 7,500, I believe. So yeah, I didn't go to one of the expensive uh, private schools or even the expensive public schools. Uh, I'm in California, so there's a good amount of uh, public universities in the area. Uh, my college is pretty much uh, very local, 15 minutes away. So I was pretty lucky that uh, my college tuition every year was not too bad compared to some of these other universities. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you can go to school without student loans, I would definitely recommend it if possible, whether you can cash flow it or whether you can get some scholarships, definitely. But yeah, these student loans definitely are a pain in the butt. And you know, once you graduate, you're gonna have this monthly payment after six months after you graduate for the next 10 years. So you pretty much are gonna be paying on the principal of those loans and you're going to be accruing interest and paying off that interest. So you got to remember that a lot of times when you're making these monthly payments, it's not all going to the principal. A lot of it is actually going to interest as well. So if you guys have a lot of interest, sometimes you could be not paying off your principal at all, which kind of sucks because every single month you're accruing more interest and the amount that you owe just keeps getting larger and larger. You guys did pull out student loans it's not the end of the world but yeah if you have the ability to pay off these student loans at a faster rate than the 10-year plan that's something i would definitely recommend you don't want to be you know paying this monthly payment of 350 dollars every single month for the next 10 years till you're you know in your mid 30s or whatever there's a lot that happens you know in your late 20s 30s you know you could get married you're gonna be looking to buy a house you might need to buy a new car you're gonna be paying all your bills because you're gonna move into that adulting stage, uh, post-college life, you know. So there's a lot of stuff that could happen and it's one less thing to worry about if you don't have these student loans that you've pretty much got since you were 18 years old. So all right guys, I'm in my Nelnet account right now. So I'm pretty much just gonna show you guys. Um, me click pretty much the last uh, button in terms of paying off my student loans. Um, as you guys can see, current payoff, 196325. Uh, payoff amount, I put it in here already. So I guess this will go in as of March 1st. Uh, I'm paying off my last payment, so pretty much I guess out of as of March 1st, 2021, I will be forever done with my student loans, which is pretty insane. Um, to think about because um, yeah I just remember back in 2018 or whatever I was calculating it I was pretty much expecting to pay off these student loans in you know 10 years uh, as it's normally said um, but yeah my mentality has definitely changed a lot it's pretty insane that I'm at this point right now so early um, in the game kind of thing so it's very um, big blessing to be here um and yeah let's get it done so let's see we'll proceed with confirmation auto debit and believe that is it i'm printing this for my records but yeah it's pretty insane that i am able to do this right now I just um, it's a real moment uh, thankful to God thank you for the people that supported me and just going out these loans like crazy thankful for the knowledge that I've learned just from the people who have talked about student loans this has definitely been um, 
process that I'll never forget in terms of paying off these loans. But yeah, it's finally over. And I'm sure that if you guys are watching this video and you guys can uh, learn from it, that you guys can do this as well. So yeah, guys, that's it. That was my final payment for my student loans ever. It's a pretty uh, surreal moment in terms of uh, the whole process to get here and everything that you know I had to kind of sacrifice in order to get this done as early as I did. Um, but definitely, yeah, if you guys have the opportunity to pay off your student loans at a fast rate, definitely go for it. Uh, you know, take control of your future. You know, get into investing in stocks, crypto, uh, ETFs doesn't really matter as long as you guys are saving for your future and you guys are learning every single day about how to make yourself better you know in the next 10 years 20 years you know how maybe you can possibly retire early and everything there's definitely videos that I will be coming out with in the next couple of months um, as long as I'm posting I'm definitely going to be uh, looking into more of the crypto world and all of the ways that you can prepare yourself for the future but yeah, definitely this is a big step in terms of my myself, in terms of uh, building a foundation for a better future kind of thing. And I definitely uh, appreciate all you guys for watching my journey um, as of passing the CPA exam to pretty much like eight months later, I'm paying off my student loan debt. I'm definitely going to be sharing uh, my whole journey. I know it's going to be ups and downs and everything, but thank you guys for watching my videos. I uh, hope you guys always learn something new. And I will catch you guys next video. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.